Hey guys, I'm here today to review the Osprey Serial 7 pack. I've used it for about 10 rides now, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I like and what I don't like about this pack, so I'm gonna share it with you today. So a couple things first, features of the pack is it does have two hip belts that zipper shut, one on each side. It has a bladder compartment and it comes with a 1.5 liter Osprey bladder, which has a really nice sealing feature. And then it has a separate stuff pocket for any gear you might want to stuff. So right now you can see I got gloves, toolkit, it even has an inside zipper pocket so you can separate some things, an inside mesh pocket, and a key ring. All very handy. The pack has slightly padded hip belt, uh, not too padded, airwave control back here so you don't get too hot and sweaty, which is really nice. It comes in three colors, black, red pattern, and a green. I chose black because it matches everything. It's about $90, and so far I've really enjoyed this pack. All right, so a couple things that I really love about this pack, the 1.5 liter bladder. It's big enough that I can take it out for longer rides and have enough water to last me I would say 15, 16 miles on a really hot day. After that, I would probably take my bigger backpack so I could have more water. The Osprey bladder system is really nice, simple to use. A slide off, unfold, fill it up, slide it back on. When the bladder is full, it's still really comfortable in the pack. It does not bounce around a lot, even when completely loaded. The bladder has a magnetic connector that comes around the front here and sticks onto the waist belt. I have had no problems with this coming loose on super bumpy rides or anything like that. I did have to cut the hose to my desired length. It was really long to start. Kind of cut it down in stages to figure out exactly where I wanted it to be. After that, I would say my second favorite feature is this hip pocket. It is really nice that this hip pocket is just big enough to fit my iPhone 13. Anything bigger, it probably would not fit, but my phone fits right in there. So when we're on the trail, I can pull it out look at trail forks, take a photo, anything like that, and zip it right back in. Easy access. Keep in, keep in mind, my iPhone does not have a case on it, so it's just iPhone 13 Pro, bare, just fits in here perfectly, no case. Another great thing about this pack is the storage compartment. For longer rides, you can fit snacks. I have a whole tool kit in here with everything I could need in case something goes wrong on the trail. The zipper pocket, I can zip in another, if you have a bigger phone, maybe a phone in there, sunglasses so they don't get scraped. Um, you can attach your keys, which is really nice, so you don't have to go digging through your bag for keys. You could easily fit a light base layer in there if you wanted. So that's super nice. You can have everything you need with you out on the trail without having a full backpack on. All right, one of the few features I dislike about this bag is just the hip cinch. So for me, I have a pretty small waist and I think if I was any more petite, this waist belt would not get tight enough for my personal liking. You can see, snap it on and it's almost all the way, I mean, I can get it pretty darn close to all the way cinched down and it's tight and I like it tight when I ride so it's not moving around and so it feels really secure. If you're a petite athlete, I would say, or a petite rider, I would say that you might wanna try it on and see how it fits before you commit to buying. The other thing is these loose ends. So there are little straps you can tuck them through, but they are really tight and have no spring or give. So you have to like bend and finagle and fold over to get these to tuck down, which is not ideal, especially if you're stopping and loosening your pack at all, then you're just messing with these. There could definitely be a better system for locking down this excess waist pack strappage. Other than that, I really love this pack. It's really comfortable. It sits nicely on my back. With the hose here in the front, it's really accessible when you ride to grab a quick drink of water, grab a snack out of the hip belt, grab your phone for navigation. It doesn't move around a lot. I think it's a great pack for $90. It's a great price, great for long rides, great for short rides. You can just throw it on and hit the trails. So let me know if you have any questions about this pack and I'll be happy to answer them down below in the comments. 
All right, if you have any interest in purchasing this pack, there will be links down below. You can click those. They are affiliate links, so we do get a small amount when you buy from those links. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it supports our channel, so we can continue making content for you guys and giving you reviews on gear we love. Thanks for watching.